Okay, um, not sure if you read this, but it just came out that military recruitment mm. um, is down to its lowest numbers in over 80 years. Good. Good? I believe so. A former military man saying good? I do. I do. Okay, so let, yeah. let me just give this one statement and then take it for... Uh, there's a smaller proportion of white Americans mm -hmm. that serve now than ever before. Wow. So although... You know, the recruitment is down to the lowest it's been. There's also a smaller number of white Americans that have ever served. Uh, comes down to seeing the bigger picture of what we're facing right now. Nothing seems, everything's too political. Everything's, everything's just gotten too political where I think the military should kind of stay away from in certain aspects of, I don't know, it, it it's gotten way too political and it's gotten to where if you say the wrong thing, it costs you your job. And the wars we're fighting nowadays, no one wants to be in, an, in a 20 year war, war again. No one wants to have to leave their family for 20 plus years, deploying day in and day out, twice a year, once a year. And you don't know if you're gonna make it back. And at the end of the day, you still don't know what you were fighting for. You know, 20 years of fighting this war and we're back over there again. We're back bombing at, uh, Baghdad. The same places that I fought in, in Iraq were fighting again. When I was back there contracting, the people that I watched get trained up, you know, they're, they're we're back at it doing, doing the, the, the same stuff again. So 20 plus years of fighting, what, what difference really did we make? What was it for? We go back for another 20? No. You know, I just think that the way we fight wars nowadays, it, it, it's open eyes to, it's open everyone's eyes to, I guess, seeing it from that aspect that 20 plus years of fighting and nothing's changed. And we couldn't even stay out of combat, out of war for two years. We were right back at it again as soon as we got out. Then you saw what happened in Afghanistan, how it was just a, a shit show of like a little Vietnam all over again. Why would anybody want to go through that when you don't feel like you're cared for at the end? You invested 20 years of your life or however many years in your life into this war, and at the end of the day, they're just like, oh, well, whatever. We're done. Leave all the stuff. Give it to them so we can come back and fight them again with it or the same equipment that we gave them. None of it makes sense. None of it feels right. And I don't blame anyone who looks at it from that perspective, that mindset, and decides, you know what, I don't want to join. I want to at least be a part of a club where they care about me at the end, where I'm going to be taken care of at the end. And that just, that, that we don't have that now. Hmm. What's your thought on the southern border crisis? Mm. Um, Abbott, he announced a, a military base camp mm -hmm. that they're putting down there. Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 has this become a military problem? No, it's not a military. I mean, mm. if you look at it as an invasion, then yeah, it kind of would be a military issue. But I think that we've are, we, we're long past the days of really having to worry about the border, now we're just waiting on what's gonna happen because of it. And I just think that there's no way you've, you know, uh, millions of people have come across the border and they're all great people. And I think if I were a terrorist or I wanted to do something bad, I'm gonna ship in as many people as I can, do the most legal, not even legal, the easiest way possible. The path of least resistance would be the border. And if I were a bad guy, wanted to do bad things, I would use, the border as its means of, of, of gaining that access into this country. And I think we're at that point now. Now we're just going to have to sit back and wait uh, for those sleeper cells or terror, terror cells that are you know over here to, to do their thing. But I 100% believe it's going to happen. Really? Within the next two years. Within the next two years, I'll say that. And if I'm wrong, good. But I think in the next two years, we're going to feel terrorist attacks here, 100%. Okay, why is that? Because Why not? You, you just be, believe they're coming in through the southern border. Think they're already they've they've caught known terrorists uh, coming across the southern border, um, multiple like gang members, and they've caught um, what was that terror cell? Um, I think it was like nineteen of them they caught recently, or this year of nineteen terrorists. Um, I think we're just at the point to where, and not everybody who's coming across is from South America or or Mexico. They're from China. They're from you know, uh, 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 yeah. 
they're from all over the place. It's not just the southern border. They're from all over the world. And I, if I were a bad guy, that's exactly what I would do, is come across the border and wreak havoc the way I wanted to wreak havoc when the time is right. And you could kind of see remnants of that happening are already starting, small little pockets of it. But I think what's going to come within the next two years, it, it, I don't know, it could make 9-11 look like child's play. If, I hope you're wrong. Me too, me too. Yeah, I hope you're wrong. But as many people hate Amer- as many p- people that hate America right now, why wouldn't you use that opportunity to easily swoop in, come across the border? We're at war with everybody right now. The whole world, it feels like at times. We're at war with everybody. Why would, why would you not? Why would you not? It just takes one person to strap on a suicide vest and run into a mall, or one and five of his friends say, I'm going to go to the to this mall, you go to this school, I'm going to go to that church, you go, and we just start that way. And one, yeah, five, it would be, it would be bad, be bad. Mass confusion, but it's way more than five people. 